Welcome back. So today we're going to look at the LoRa transmission 433 MHz RS485 from China. It's arrived today. See the code there? IOT L2S and that's a B1W. So let's have a quick look at this. It's sealed. Apparently it's been passed. That's the other part of the, the back of the box. Let's just open this up. One antenna and the other antenna. away now so you got live and neutral at the top and then below are your connections for your RS485 we're going to give this a test with a Niagara Trillium Mac 36 NL controller. We're going to put some I.O. Modbus I.O. on this part. And then this other part will be connected direct to the controller. And then we'll see how we get on with that so let's connect it up right so live and neutral so live we put into that port that terminal and neutral into that terminal live brown wire in this country UK blue neutral wire in this country lining with the uh, the neutral and the live on the lower device Naturally, the aerial is going to plug into this this bit here. So let's just do that. Take the cap off. It's always better to uncoil these. Don't leave them coiled up on on your installation. Always uncoil them. That's if you can undo the. Okay, so that's the power and the aerial connected. The aerial, always have it standing up. Now to put this on my DIN rail and connect IO to the bottom. All right, I've just connected up the LoRa device that's going to my PC currently I'm using this adapter this uh, SHU10 is a DSD Tech SH hyphen U10 and I've connected the A and B from there into the adapter which is plugged into a USB in my PC I've also pressed the deploy button which is 
in here and as you can see the light is on and flashing so I'm now ready to connect to this device and set it up I've got to do both of them but this is this is the first one that I need to set up but I thought I'll show you how we would do that so like I said I'm using this adapter which is taking this RS485 signal and take putting it to the PC for the USB and this is the adapter installed here Silicon Labs CP10X USB to UART and it's COM5 let's just minimize that and minimize that and let's run this software I'll bring it across so this is the software LoRa CFG V3 8 channels software that I've got now that can be downloaded from BMS parts that's why I've put this website here for you let's just go another go into that so bmsparts.co.uk and then if you scroll down you will see the lower one software there data sheet and manual so you can actually download that to your PC right, so we don't need that close that and let's run this software so it's automatically come up COM5 open port just checking yeah it's still flashing so this is still flashing so I'm going to read it let's move that to one side because it's just come up there on the complete there okay so I'm going to set the channel so I'm going to configure the transmission channel and we'll use uh, we'll use four for the transmission channel next we'll do the speed so DR0 will go the furthest range DR5 will be the shortest range DR0 will be in the longest range the um, transmission speed will be slower DR5 the transmission speed will be faster but I want long range so DR0 the transmission speed can be set from a uh, power sorry can be set from 0 to 20 so let's uh, set it to 20 so that's a maximum 20 db that I've set that to so now we can set the board rate where well, I know I've set my controller to 9600 but you can go from 1200 to 115200 but I want 9600 is a common that you would normally use for most meters the next is the parity, there's three types, eight data bits, no parity, one stop bit, eight D data bits, even parity, one stop bit, eight data bits, odd parity, one stop bit. Well I know that the controller I'm connecting to is eight data bits, non parity, one stop bit, so I need that right now we need to click right on the system to write this so let's click right and I've got, we've got the complete one so that's written to the unit now what we can do we can also click read just to read back and see whether everything is right I mean by all means we can change that to say five change that to three so we'll be changing the channels and change that to something another one so hopefully when we read it back it all changes back so we've got the complete there okay and everything has been set to to what I've written it to be so the final thing now is to uh, click reset complete so 
that's uh, I'm, it's now not flashing so I can see the module not flashing now so that's rebooted itself so I've now connected the second unit to the PC which I need to configure that's it connected with the wires at the bottom to the um, USB so now let's do that uh, let's just read see what happens if I read this no so I need to shut it down and open it up again picked up com port so open up the com port read we have an error it is flashing so I'm not too sure what the error is this was my other configuration I found out what the issue was it was uh, I unplugged the USB and plugged it back in again and it worked so I programmed up this one and then I moved these wires to A2 and B2 on both modules and we are communicating now to the uh, core 40 multi which is this device here so we can now look at some points There's a temperature 24 degrees of the sensor that I installed on UI1. So that's RS485 across LoRa network. Here is a user manual for that unit, and it says further down two standard interface RS for supporting the variety of protocols and communication and that's the version so 85 volts to 265 volts AC RS485 Modbus RTU which is what I'm using DL stroke T645 etc those are the different board rates I'm using 9600 and eight data bits non parity one stop bit four three three megahertz band communication range six to eight kilometers that be direct sight from antenna to antenna not going through walls or anything like that You can download this from the uh, BMS Parts website, the manual. If I had to choose between the two different modules we have, this one and the other LoRa device with the LCD display, I would probably go with the LCD display because I don't need to then connect it to my computer USB port and configure the software before connecting it to my devices so I think I would prefer to use the other lower device than this and the only reason being is having to configure the channel the speed the power and of course the board rates I can do that with the other lower device via the function button which is another video showing you how to do that 